Hey, my man, how are you? <laughs> okay. I guess they got us on our own time. Like, we're just going to be doing our own thing in here. You ready? Wait. You ready? <coughs> Is everybody ready? I was born ready, man. All right, cool. All right, everybody. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? I haven't seen you. Good. But they sent some guy down to Dallas now. that looked like you. Really? Yeah, he's answering all your questions for you and stuff. And he's there's good. another guy in Seattle, different guy, different person, who said that were you. Really? Yeah. Everyone was asking you questions. You were great, man. You had those answers down. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. That's right. Excellent. Yeah. All right, cool. We're taping a very special segment of Suburban Underground just for you at Georgia State University. I'm DJ Stereotype, sitting here with the cast of Catch a Fire. Everybody, I'm not a cast. Well, you're. What are you then? I'm a director, man. Okay, well, the cast and yeah. crew. I mean, I of say Catch actually, a Fire. Do they, not call they, the writer and the director the cast. It's yeah. highly and offensive. He's not the cast right? either. Is he? I, I don't know. That's just not true. Is it highly offensive? That's not true. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm very still in college. Very un-PC. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's yeah. very un-PC. Okay, well, I just did something. I, I'm sorry. That was sorry. totally un Don't do also, that. He's not the cast either. <laughs> I mean, this guy here, he's the guy that the movie's about. He's, he's yes. the man. Okay, I feel silly. I'm sorry. Okay, how about we all go around the table and introduce ourselves really quick, starting I'm, with you. I'm the director. I'm the guy that says action and cut. What's your name? Philip Noyce. Okay. My name is Bonnie Henna. I'm the actress, and I'm the woman who takes my cues from him on set. Okay. Y'all know who I am. Except she's... She's exaggerating. She doesn't take many cues from me. She mainly takes them from her, him, who she was acting opposite. We all get them from you. All right, okay, whatever. <laughs> Moving um, right along. Yeah, um, I'm Sean Snowbell. I'm Patrick Chamoso. I'm just an ordinary man. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the subject of the movie. Yes. I am Derek Luke, and I play Patrick Chamuso, and I take cues from everybody. All right. I'll vouch for that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we wanted to do something kind of special. We wanted to kind of simulate what we do on Suburban Underground. Suburban Underground, just so you guys know, is an open panel discussion forum where we discuss different issues and whatnot um, that affect society. And so since this movie, a huge part of it is based on apartheid, I wanted to kind of briefly discuss that with you all. Just in, I mean, for me watching the film was kind of like to see the unrelenting spirit of the people. To see a spirit that just would not die. I mean, you amazed. I could not, I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Kill Bill. But it's like, like how does one person live through all of that and still come out on the other end well and happy and healthy and... Sane, like I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it's amazing. He's, he's, it's not, amazing. he's not sane. <laughs> it's amazing. So, I mean, I mean, just somebody. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, like, we live in a society where, I mean, especially in America, we live in a society where people have such an attitude of, like, well, I can't do this or I can't do that or change is so difficult. And to see somebody that actually lived through that. You know, I mean, what for you, what is that inside of you that has kept you moving and kept you living and striving to exist? <laughs> you used to have a, a big heart. Right. Uh, a heart of a rhino. Right. And uh, you prepare yourself to mm. the situation that you find in it. Right. And uh, if you don't do that, you won't live much longer. But if you do, you do that, you can do it. What advice would you give to young people? Um, the advice that uh, I can give to the young people is that whatever decision they take it, they must stick to it. No matter how difficult it is, even at school, college, wherever. And until even they go to their marriage also. Right. When they take a decision to whatever they do, they have to stick to it. Right. So really, they will live. Right. What? Well, no, I was just going to say, I think, you know, what is also extraordinary <clears throat> about Patrick, his courage aside, is the way that he has no vengeance. In spite of the fact that he was arrested, falsely accused, tortured, imprisoned, 
his family life was destroyed. When he came face to face with his accusers and his tormentors, he carries no vengeance in his heart. And I think that is, you know, if there is a message, so to speak, right. in this, I think that's what comes across powerfully in the film. But he can talk about that more articulately. Definitely. Yeah, that it came uh, <clears throat> through a very difficult time and uh, through different times. When I arrived on Robben Island, uh, I... That's the prison that he was yeah. sent to. Uh, 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 um, you were sentenced to 24 years. I was sentenced to 24 years. And then when I reached there, I was not the first prison to go there. There were other prisons from Makana to Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Then he set it up a structure there sir, so that when new people like me comes there, will arrive in that structure. So all the transformation took place there. Right. And uh, we discussed also the issue of forgiveness. We reached, we agreed that we are going to forgive our our, our enemies, uh, and then we show them that we are not the kind of people they think we are. Right. Mm. Yeah. And uh, really, it's working in South Africa. Many people thought that it's going to be a civil war and. Nothing of that sort of things that right. happened. Do you think collectively it's a process to get over that resentment? Or, or was it just kind of natural for you after going through that whole movement? Uh, of course, I, I think uh, collectively it, it worked because it's not only me who right. was tortured. Right. And a lot of people went go through other things. But we agreed on today that we stay with these people. Right. We show them that we are not, we are not the kind of people that that they think we are right. and we are going to forgive them and we forgave them and we forgot about what they have done to us right. we're still even today providing security for those people right so you see what kind of people we are I definitely wanted to ask about a huge part of this movie is kind of settled around the black family infrastructure and your character and your you know and everything kind of go through a lot of things with the weakening of that and then it kind of bonding back together in the end um, when he's freed and everything, was how is that for you as an actress and it's just as a woman, as a black woman dealing with those issues and everything? Like, was there anything in the story that spoke to you personally on that level that you could relate to at all? Wow. Um, it really did give me insight, though, into how how the black family structure in South Africa was actually broken down by right. apartheid. Um, the women that I spoke to while preparing for my character were such incredible women. I mean, they had lived through all of this and were still carrying on, still strong and still so awesome. And again, it just highlighted the resilience of, of their spirits. Right. And also just the things I learned from them is that, you know, they for a long time were what kept the communities together. That's right, what, what absolutely. Kept, you know, hugged people when they needed blood. Right. That's who cried for people when they needed to, mm. to shed tears or to grieve, you know. Mm. Um, but for me, growing up in South Africa, this was just a huge lesson in, on, on many levels because I think, I, without generalizing, I, I could safely say that a lot of my generation um, and people I've spoken to feel somehow for a long time that there's a, an unwillingness to go to that place that is so painful because you you don't know how much of me this film kind of just peacefully brought everything to a you know, what happened and right. what it means to me yeah definitely you know what they say about South African black South African women is if you when you strike a woman strike. you strike a rock, a rock and yeah. it will crush you right oh. <laughs> whoa that is profound yeah. Yeah, very strong that wow. is very profound. profound wow what did you have to go through, Derek, like as far as character study? I mean, because that's a heavy responsibility to play this um, this man. Mm -hmm. Did you have to go through like a whole pro? I mean, because your dialect and your everything was just amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I, like, I forgot you were, I forgot you were Derek Luke. 